There is no denying that building a gaming PC requires some knowledge. While building a gaming PC, there's no better option than that water cooling. If you are serious about pushing your computer performance while keeping it as cool as possible. With that being said, when it comes to water cooling, you have two options. You can either go with the AIO liquid cooling or you can go with a custom loop. In today's video, we are going to discuss AIO versus custom loop liquid cooling to help you make an informed decision before choosing any of these two. AIO or all-in-one liquid cooler comes in a single unit that comprises the radiator, pump, water block, and tubes. This allows the manufacturers to keep the cost low and at a low price, it can give decent performance and decent looks to your gaming rigs. With AIO liquid coolers, you don't have to assemble all the parts yourself. Everything is assembled out of the box. Installing an AIO can take 15 minutes to half an hour, whereas you will have to spend the day or maybe even more in a custom loop. As everything is assembled out of the box, this drastically reduces the ability of the system to leak, as fittings are among the most common points of failure. It also doesn't require refilling and as much maintenance as a custom loop. The downsides to running a typical AIO a lower performance as well as not being expandable to cool anything but the central processor compared to a custom loop. This is because of the usage of cost-effective and compact components to reduce both size and price of the unit. On the other hand, custom loop is the pinnacle of liquid cooling and is the approach of picking out the entire loop piece by piece, everything from the main parts to the tiniest cable and adapter. It requires thorough research, careful planning and is more expensive than the AIO. Simply put, when it comes to looks, it is hard to beat custom loop as it looks incredibly amazing and absolutely gorgeous. You can also mix and match the colors and get a truly unique look, which is something that is not attainable by an AIO liquid cooler. Another benefit is that you can get amazing performance thanks to the ability to use custom water blocks, radiators, pumps, and reservoirs. Every single aspect of your loop can be customized to give you the best possible performance. Where an AIO is going to be limited to just the processor, a custom loop provides wider coverage allowing you to water cool your processor, your CPU, your RAM, and even your power supply. The downsides are, they require frequent maintenance and all that customization and cool looks come with a price. In conclusion, the AIO offers increased reliability, reduced cost, and less maintenance while the custom loop offers increased overall performance, customization, and increased visual appeal. Both solutions are good, but you need to figure out which is best suited to you. If you are looking to enter into the realm of water cooling, spending money on a good AIO is your ticket. You do not have to spend a lot of money and you can still get a pretty decent performance to go along with. And custom loop is for people who are fully aware of how things work and who know how to build them as well. And that is pretty much it of our breakdown of AIO and custom loop liquid cooling. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to catch us on our next video.